TCU hit 100 five times last season. They also hit 99 twice. They're at 46 here on their way for a big second half here. Shot wouldn't go, and grabbing that rebound is Robbie Wilson. Robbie Wilson with his fourth rebound of the night to go along with 10 points here. Dominic Gonzalez will start again for A.J. Johnson. A.J. Johnson out of this ball game. We hope to have A.J. back to us as soon as possible. And we begin this second half starts with a Xander Bowers, the X-Man from behind the line, hits the long three. The Drano for Xander Bowers, it's 49-28. You don't see the X-Man shoot from downtown very often as he did right there. This is Abogai. Abogai on the far side. They'll get the ball in the hands of Daniel Hernandez, and he shoots one from three-point range, and they continue to be plagued by poor shooting from outside the line. Now we get a jump ball here, possession to ACU. Robbie Wilson got tied up down there by Kofi Abogai. Abogai is a very aggressive player, and he is all over the place. And as they inbound that one, Abogai swats that one into the next county here. Travis Walker will go behind the stage here inside the event center, field the ball, and give it to Joel Myers. 49-28. There is Deron Kyle as Deron Kyle scores it in the paint off the inbound play. Deron Kyle, Darius Godot, Robbie Wilson, the X-Man, and Dominic Gonzalez, the starting five here in the second half for Coach Rudder. Abagai down low and laying it up and scoring it was Jimmy Rodriguez. Nice job there by Kofi Abagai. The penetration there and the nice pass there as he feathered it around the defense. And then Rodriguez got the finish. 51-30, 21-point advantage here. Here's Darius Goudeau at right wing. 21 against 21. Goudeau against Hernandez. Goudeau gets tied up on the baseline. We get a whistle from the far side. Brandon Witherspoon, one of our three-man NAIA officials here. 51-30 is the score. Six players in the first half scored for the Warriors. Seven players scored for ACU. And now we get Joel Myers here with the call. He's going to say Dominic Gonzalez lowered the shoulder, and that'll be a player control. O offensive foul for ACU. Robbie Wilson had 10 points to lead the way. Bryce Davis with 10 points. Deron Kyle had nine in the first half. For Life Pacific College, they were led by a seven-point game from Kyler Villarreal. Now it's Abagai at right wing. Bounce it into the hands of Adam Saavedra. Saavedra Abagai. Abagai with a ball fake. He'll go in, and Marcus Hicks spots a little contact there, and he'll blow the whistle for a personal foul here. Sandra Bowers picks up the foul. It'll be the first on the X-Man. Yeah, I, the word nonchalant comes to mind for the X-Man, but it's more than that. He's... He's not a nonchalant player. He just has so much athletic ability. It just oozes from him. And it doesn't look like he's going hard. You've seen guys like that that have that next gear that you just, wow, as Abagai hits that one from the mid-range. And now we get another whistle here. It's Marcus Hicks on the far side of the court. So they'll pin that foul on RW for Robbie. That's Robbie's first. So a couple of quick fouls here in this second half for ACU. And now we'll go right back the other way as Bowers takes a charge some way, somehow. Joel Myers there to make the call. Bowers there defending the play, and then there's a call on 31, Adam Saavedra, for Saavedra, his second foul. Interesting calls here in the first couple of minutes. As you can see, Tim Cook with some instruction for his team. Again, we'll play it tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Dominic Gonzalez from three-point range, and this one is good. Hoisting up a three and hitting a three was Dominic Gonzalez. 54-32 now. Villarreal from way down, and this one is going to get the shooter's touch roll. The high carom off the rim and then right down through the well for a three-point goal for Connor Villarreal. Give him 10 points now. Now it's Deron Kyle. Directs some traffic with that left hand. Here comes the X-Man, Bowers. They poke it away from him. Jump pass to Deron Kyle to the left wing for Robbie Wilson. Robbie Wilson 
Whips a pass to the right wing now for Dominic Gonzalez, and Dominic Gonzalez is two for his first two of the second half. Dominic G for three for ACU, and there's a three in the corner by Daniel Hernandez. This one won't go. Rebound into the hands of Xander Bowers. Here come the Firestorm with numbers. Back to Dominic Gonzalez. Another three, and this one hits the side iron. Feeling it was number two, Dom Gonzalez. And down low. Good pass there, a no-look pass there by Abogai. Unfortunately, Adam Saavedra couldn't finish that one. 57-35. Bryce Davis, Kevon Williams up off the bench. They will come in at the next dead ball. Good ball movement now by the Firestorm outside the perimeter. Little touch pass to Robbie Wilson on the baseline. Crosser to Gudeau. His three is no good. Dominic Gonzalez fighting for the offensive rebound. I think they're going to pin the foul on him. No, they're going to pin the foul on Robbie Wilson. I love Robbie Wilson, the way he plays this game with so much passion. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He's a warrior. He is a gamer. And I'll take 15 Robbie Wilsons all day long. Love his passion and his dedication to ACU basketball. Robbie Wilson, four minutes into the second half, 57-35. You have to credit Tim Cook's life college playing ball here. And there's a turnover. Abogai into the hands of Daniel Hernandez and the sophomore couldn't control the basketball. It goes out of bounds. Firestorm are shooting 46% from the field. 40% from behind the line. It's a good number. Four. Here's Deron Kyle. Nice move to Davis on the baseline. Back out to Deron Kyle. He'll shoot a three. This one's no good. Long rebound to the hands of Kevon Williams. Good hustle there by Key. Now it's Robbie Wilson. Wilson working on 13 this time. That was Jimmy Rodriguez. His shot's blocked. And Robbie Wilson just nearly got decked on that swinging arm of Abogai. So RW is going to earn two shots the hard way as Kofi Abogai was there to commit the personal foul. That'll be his second. Marcus Hicks has a little chuckle with Abogai. We're going to get a timeout on the floor here. Looks like Jeff Rudder took the timeout. We'll wait. And instead, it's Tim Montez. It'll be a quick 30. We'll take a quick 30 as well. You're watching ACU Basketball on the Firestorm Broadcast Network. Fifty-seven thirty-five. we join you back inside the event center. Joe McDonald's baseball team were in Santa Clarita today, I believe, taking on TMU, the Masters College, as the Firestorm gain a split in the baseball series. They lost the first game, and they won the second game 3-2. to two. So, nice win to rebound. I think the softball team, the ladies, also split against Corbin out of state today. Some good things happening around one West Firestorm way. Rodriguez, a three-pointer, no good. More whistles here. Brandon Witherspoon from behind the play. A push in the back against the Warriors from Life Pacific College. It'll be Jimmy Rodriguez and for JR, that'll be his third personal foul for the post player from El Monte, California. Here comes Kevon Williams. Again, no Angelo Johnson, Patrick Fisher, or Xavier Cooper. If you guys are watching tonight's game, we're thinking of you, and we're praying for you, and we hope we see you back in the gym very soon. Abagai between the legs, his bounce pass to Villarreal. He goes up strong, and the shot's no good. I'm not sure if one of the Firestorms had a chance to block there. Here's Deron Kyle. Jump pass to Kevon Williams. Wasn't ready for it. And now Darius Gudeau streaking down that sideline, doing everything he can to lunge for the basketball and save it. Unfortunately, for the Firestorm, that'll be a turnover. The Firestorm have 
12 turnovers to 13 turnovers for Life Pacific College. Paul Hayden back on the court. Sandra Bowers, Paul Hayden, Bryce Davis, Dominic Gonzalez, and Kevon Williams for Jeff Rudder. 57-35. Firestorm have been on 57 for a couple of minutes now. And in between the circles, it's Adam Saavedra. They go down to Timmy Rodriguez. Rodriguez wants to work on Bryce Davis. This is Abagai. Abagai on Hayden. Left of the paint, taken in and scored. Impressive bucket right there. Kofi Abagai, 57-37. Abagai starting to feel it right now for the Warriors from LP. Abagai with eight points now. Dominic Gonzalez with some good handles. Down low to Bryce Davis. Davis going to work on Jimmy Rodriguez on the baseline. Now we get a whistle. Joel Myers raises that right arm of his with a call. It's a 14-02 mark. 20-point game. Firestorm trying to pick up their 17th win of the season. In fact, for ACU, entering play here tonight, they have won 19 of the last 21 basketball games. Of course, last season cut short due to you know what. Bryce Davis working around Malachi Jensen. Bryce Davis with the basket. Are they going to count it? The bucket good, plus one for Bryce Davis. As Brandon Witherspoon indicates, bucket is good. So Bryce Davis to the line with an and one for ACU. And they get off that 57 mark. So Davis to the line with a plus one here. Bryce Davis, 6'7", 220. Played for the great Jed Dunn. Next one, all right, free throw is no good. Via Real with a rebound. 59-37. Galong. Man to man defense played now by ACU. They get the ball down to Saavedra. Saavedra working on Kevon Williams. And Mr. Witherspoon indicates that's going to be a walk, a traveling violation on Saavedra. Good defense by number 10, Kevon Williams. Key's got new kicks again. He's got to be a shoe guy. I'd like to ask Kevon about his shoe collection because it seems like each and every game he's got a new pair of kicks. Down low to Xander Bowers. No look to Paul Hayden. Here comes Paul. Take it in and wave it off. Paul Hayden with another athletic move, but they'll wave it off. A one-time sunny slope biking with an athletic play right there. He's a cerebral young man. He's a smart player. Paul Hayden, 59-37. ACU wearing their home whites with their red numerals outlined in yellow. Abagai defending is Paul Hayden. Boy, Hayden's got a lot of skill. Villarreal from three-point range. That was the top of the key three. This one wouldn't go. It spun out. Now it's down to Gonzalez right in front of us in the left wing. Defending him is Galong. Good defense there by Galong. Down to Gonzalez with a nice crossover. Now it's Hayden at Three-point range. Down to Bryce Davis. Was fouled early. No call. Davis underneath to go on a cross pass. that's picked off and stolen there by Malachi Jansen. Here comes Real. To the trailer, Malachi. Take it in and score it. Malachi Jensen in the paint with an easy basket. 59-39. 20-point advantage for ACU. 12.40 to go in the ball game. Xander Bowers at three-point range. Out on the arc now is Paul Hayden. Down low to Bryce Davis. Quickly they put the ball in the hands of Dominic Gonzalez again. Great ball movement here early for ACU. 12 to shoot. Davis from 18. Hit no good. Tough break for him. That ball looked like he was going to stick the chain and rattled out. Firestorm just a couple of points here in the first four minutes of this one. Here's Abagai. He hits one from left wing. And that triple is good. Kofi Abagai from Hawaii Pacific University. He's got 11 points now. He's 5 of 7 from the field, 1 of 2 from three-point range. Eight minutes into the second half. It's 59-42. Life Pacific College has worked their way back. Good backdoor cut for Paul Hayden. He gets the pass from Xander Bowers, and Paul Hayden with the finish with that left hand. Outstanding vision by Xander Bowers. Unselfish play by the Firestorm. Villarreal to Malachi. Malachi over to the hands of Gillong. Gillong bumped off momentarily for Kevon Williams. They get around Bryce Davis, and Galong will score it on the baseline. Coach Rudder thought it was an offensive foul. In this case, I thought Galong just beat Davis on that particular sequence. 
Doesn't happen very often, but now here's Bowers turns and he'll go in and jam it with a reverse. Xander Bowers, the X-Man with a reverse flush. Another slam dunk for Xander Bowers. And now Xander's comes up a little bit. He's got a little uh, issue with his foot here. Perhaps he's cramping up, so X will sit down for a second. 63-44, love that move on the baseline, getting free with Xander, and he went up and threw it down with authority. Nothing like packing it like Xander Bowers does. 63-44 here. Get a good look here at Kofi Abagai right in front of us. Good-sized dude. He's got some, some calves on him. Just a freshman is Kofi Abagai. He has a chance to be a good player when it's all said and done. He gets the ball back here, and now we get a whistle here. Brandon Witherspoon with the illegal screen assessed to Life Pacific University. Newton Acevedo. Here comes Robbie Wilson. Nine minutes in to the second half. Robbie Wilson right at the free throw line. He turns around and looks. This inside-out presence, inside-out game for ACU has been working well. Deron Kyle, he'll go in and he'll throw it down again. Deron Kyle, flight five taken off in the put down. Oh my, DK5 with the flush. 65-44, that was pretty. Back-to-back -back dunks now for the Firestorm. Acevedo trapped. Malachi Jensen will see some opening, and he'll shoot it and miss it. Bryce Davis grabs the rebound. Back to Deron Kyle as Deron Kyle tries to thread a pass into Robbie Wilson. That one was stolen. Via Real to Malachi Jensen. Jensen with a nice ball fake. He'll go up and finish it off the glass. Malachi Jensen, 65-46. We are just about halfway home here in half number two. Paul Hayden working there on Adam Vasquez. Now it's Bryce Davis going high in the air to get that ball off Kyler Villarreal. Villarreal is also playing well. Gonzalez, wild shot underneath. He might have been fouled from behind. New call. Here come the Warriors. It's Acevedo. Little hesitation. He's being defended there by Dominic Gonzalez. Villarreal nearly lost the control of the basketball. Over to Abagai. Abagai. Guarding him is Paul Hayden. Love that matchup. Paul Hayden on Abagai. There's a couple of young players that might see each other again down the road here. Acevedo with the finish down inside the paint. His layup is good. It's 65-48. ACU maintains their comfortable position with this big lead. Back to Paul Hayden. Over to Robbie Wilson. Deron Kyle looks over the floor. Down low to Davis. Davis goes high up to get that ball. That's a mismatch all evening long. There's wide open Paul Hayden, and he'll lay it up and score it. Again, great vision there by ACU. Robbie Wilson that time with the pretty play, and Paul Hayden again with the finish. Paul Hayden has been very active. Malachi from downtown, all nylon for Malachi Jensen as he hits the three-point goal, and it's now 67-51. Paul Hayden double digits with 10 points. Seven players have scored for Jeff Rudder's team. Five of them in double digits. Deron Kyle, nice crossover. He's free. Step into that triple, no good. Guys all over the court. And Robbie Wilson gets the offensive rebound and the putback for RW. RW now with 12 points. Nice job by Robbie Wilson. 8-13 to go. 69-51. Looks like the X-Man's going to be okay. Malachi. He tries to get a pass down low, and it was off the hands in the defensive play of Paul Hayden. Villarreal, three, no good. And Kofi Abogai, his three. Nope, not going to go. Dominic Gonzalez down there. That ball hit the end line out of bounds. Possession to ACU. Darius Goodell, Kevon Williams, and Xander Bowers all check in for the Firestorm. Great minutes there by Paul Hayden. Ten points, two rebounds. Robbie Wilson has 12 points, six rebounds, and how about this, six dimes tonight for Robbie Wilson. Working on a potential triple-double. There's time here. Now it's Robbie. Great passer is Robbie Wilson. Very unselfish player. Now it's Goodell. 
Off a screen from Deron Kyle. Good defense by Daniel Hernandez. Making it difficult for Deron Kyle. Bowers in the corner for three. This one's short. And leaping over everyone to try to grab the rebound was Adam Vasquez. So Vasquez went over the back. Good hustle, good idea. Just got his hand caught in the cookie jar that time. So for Kevon Williams, he's going to have a one and one here. 18 fouls for LP, five for Arizona Christian. Free throw is up and good by Kevon Williams. Kofi Abagai in his fifth game, averaging 7.3 points a ball game. He's been stellar here for Life Pacific College. He's not on the court right now as Key sends up his second free throw. And that one is good. Kevon Williams in his 19th game this season. A 51% free throw shooter, averaging 2.7 points a ball game. Firestorm shooting 49% from the floor here in this ball game. Vasquez hands it to Rodriguez. Back to Acevedo. Nice handles with it. Defending is Robbie Wilson. Acevedo in the paint. Got away with the travel. Feeds the right wing. Shooting at that time was Daniel Hernandez. Wouldn't go. Clearing the glass was 8CU. Back to Robbie Wilson. Good ball fake. Quick pass to Kevon Williams at three-point range. Drive in, bumped out the play, throw it up there and score it. Kevon Williams. Kevon with the basket. Kevon's got four points here in some extended minutes without Angelo Johnson tonight. When you just think about the guys that aren't here, Angelo Johnson, Xavier Cooper, and Patrick Fisher, the Firestorm would actually get better with those guys healthy. That's how deep this team is for Jeff Rudder this year. Coach Rudder has had some really good teams in the past, but this team with a lot of depth, they continue to build and recruit. And you have to credit Trey Clarkson and Josh Cole and the likes of Bobby Gray and the rest of that staff. Jack Bandy, Zandy, Jackson, Oldham, all of them to a man. Major contributors to the success of Firestorm basketball. Here's a steal by Kevon Williams. It's one on one. Kevon take it in, and he's going to be fouled hard. Kevon to the rim, and a little bit of too much body for Jimmy Rodriguez. And JR is going to pick up his fourth foul here. And Mac, in fact, that's going to be his fifth foul. So Jimmy Rodriguez has reached the limit here. And Rodriguez is going to foul out with five fouls here. For Rodriguez, he will foul out with five points and a rebound. So Coach Cook just a little bit more shorthanded here. The Warriors are without Tayden Goss. Goss had 29 points in the game against San Diego Christian in a game that saw the Hawks win by two. The Warriors' only win has come at the expense of San Diego Christian. Led by Dwayne Cosby. I love D.C. D.C., such a good dude. Joel Myers with the call. Bonus now. It'll be a bonus for the next 6-0-1 here. So bonus now for Acevedo. Acevedo playing in his fifth game. He is yet, this will be his second free throw of the attempt of this season. And he's 0 for 2. Averaging less than one point is Newton Acevedo, just a youngster. 74-51. And that ball hits the rooftop here. You don't see that a lot. We've seen it close a couple of times, but uh, that's the, maybe the first or second time I've seen it actually hit the rooftop here. Again, at the very top, at that apex part. It's Bowers, and Bowers can't get the shot. But he was grabbed and fouled from behind. Brandon Witherspoon indicates the call, a hand in the back. The back. Daniel Hernandez picks up the first personal foul. That's his second. And the X-Man to the line. Xander Bowers. A couple of impressive dunks here in this ballgame. 
hit that free throw. Bowers with 12 points. He's five of five from the floor here tonight. That is outstanding. And of course, we mentioned that the leader in the G-Sack and field goal percentage is Robbie Wilson. Free throw good, 76-51, 5.40 to go in the ball game. Here comes Bryce Davis and Paul Hayden. You look at this ACU team and you see those guys that we mentioned that just haven't been able to play tonight. Villarreal, you know, shoot a three. This one's no good. Bryce Davis tips the rebound in the hands of Kevon Williams. Kevon with some hesitation to Robbie Wilson. Robbie Wilson, a three-pointer, and that one is good. Robbie Wilson with the super shot of the NAIA. Timeout taken on the court. I believe Coach Rudder took the timeout. It'll be a full timeout. He wants to get some new bodies in. 79-51 our score, 5-12 remaining in this second half. You are watching ACU Basketball on the Firestorm Broadcast Network. Rudder timeout 79 51 our score just checking in was Paul Hayden and Bryce Davis here comes Acevedo now in between the rings just past the Emblazon logo back to Acevedo around a screen the ball screen from Daniel Hernandez in deep it's Acevedo that one's too Wow, then here comes down to Gonzalez for the rebound. A little hesitation. Take it in and score it. Down to Gonzalez. Well, he had that crease, and he kept kind of inching his way towards the opening, and just they didn't step over and impede, and he just took it in and finished it. Nice job there by Dominic to Gonzalez. Poor Dom G. He's picked up his game with his extra minutes tonight. Double digits in scoring for Dom to Gonzalez. He's now got 10 points. Six players in double digits for Coach Rudder tonight. Six to shoot on the baseline. It's Vasquez, and he has it poked away and stolen. Xander Bowers was there along with Kevon Williams. Kevon playing with some confidence to Bryce Davis, and Bryce Davis, he had a little thought on his mind that he might want to go in there and flush that one with two hands. He got up to the cylinder there, and that foul took him away from the momentum to get up there and put it down. It's a 30-point game here for the Firestorm. Looking to improve to 3-0 in the Golden State Athletic Conference. And here's Bryce Davis at the stripe. And hit the first one, no good. Checking in is Chris Daniels. Chris Daniels, 6'3", 175, a junior from Glendale Community College in California. As Bowers will sit down. For Xander Bowers, 13 points. Five rebounds. He was five for five from the field. Two for two from the line, and he was perfect from three-point range. That is just about a perfect night. Here comes Paul Hayden to Kevon Williams. As Kevon has his legs taken out from behind him. Dangerous play right there by the youngster, Acevedo. I'm sure there's no intent there, but uh, Kevon Williams lucky that he's okay there. Good burst to the rim by Kevon Williams. Shooting two. Now it's Witherspoon indicating the two foul shots upcoming. Kevon's first one, no good. Games down the road here. Those types of shots, late ball games, are ultra critical. Here in this one, not so much. But the concentration, the idea of that, as Dominic Gonzalez and Paul Hayden doing what they could to control the offensive glass. That's Travis Jackson now. 
has checked in. Travis Jackson with Acevedo. This is the group that Tim Cook's going to have to go with. Save some of his guys for a chance to win tomorrow. We'll tip it up at 2 p.m. right here inside the event center. Malachi Jensen take it in and float it up there with that left hand, using that body, a little hang, and did a nice job there, floating that one in there off the window, and that touch with that left hand from Malachi Jensen, 82-53. Yvonne with some instruction. Defending him there was Newton Acevedo. Down low to Bryce Davis. One bounce, go up strong, and they foul Bryce pretty good. Let's see if they whistle Vasquez with it. It'll actually be on Daniel Hernandez. And I like how Mr. Witherspoon indicates what the foul was. He said across the waist. So he got hammered on across the waist. Preparing to check in is Travis Walker. Travis, a 6'5 forward, is going to come in. And Jamel Cleveland is sitting there. Perhaps Jamel Cleveland will go get Bryce Davis. Number 34, Hayden Dykstra also will come in, and Dominic Gonzalez will sit down. Dominic Gonzalez is going to bring his Ironwood Eagle Championship ring to the arena tomorrow, and we're going to do a little photo shoot with that thing. Nothing like getting jewelry in high school, especially the way that Jordan Augustine and the Ironwood Eagles put it together last year. I'm impressed and I'm a fan of their program. 21, Daniel Hernandez. Now we get a whistle here right out in front of the Warriors bench. Tim Cook wants to talk things over. That's Marcus Hicks there to indicate the call. It'll be a 60-second timeout. And with that being said, we'll step aside. You're watching ACU Basketball on the Firestorm Broadcast Network. remaining coming up on 831 here in the state 48 we're in Glendale Arizona been a good ball game here for the home folks here, 82 to 53 Jensen off a screen they wanted to get Fernandez a look that was Travis Jackson. Back to Malachi. Malachi's feeling it. Malachi Jensen's had himself a pretty good ball game here as Walker had a touch on it. Malachi Jensen with nine points from the corner. Long three's no good. Walker grabs the rebound. Put the ball in the hands of Chris Daniels. Coach Rutter wants to run motion right here. His team's in command, but he still wants the team to be mentally sharp. And now we're getting an offensive foul on Tamel Cleveland. <laughs> that, that, uh, that's a tough call right there on Jamal Cleveland. He's not in but a minute. He's got the size advantage on the defender, and somehow they think that Jamal pushed off on that. That's a spelt Jamal Cleveland out there. He's dropped a few pounds. Looks pretty good out there. There's a three-point attempt from the right wing for Adam Vasquez. Would go. Here comes Chris Daniels. He splits the deep, take it in with that left hand and just miss that one. Jamel Cleveland swapped out the rebound into the hands of Paul Hayden, and Paul Hayden will go in and finish it. Paul Hayden now. He's got 12 points, just Paul Hayden. He's got a good ball game. Paul Hayden indeed with 12 points, six to seven. And now there's a steal. Here comes Paul Hayden. Paul, one on one. Paul, take it in and score. Paul Hayden off the glass. Great body control as he grimaces and has a, not grimaces, I beg your pardon, that was the wrong vernacular. Nice little grin for Paul Hayden right there. Eh, maybe grimace was it, ah, who knows. Being too choosy with the vernacular right here. Good defense there by the Firestorm. 14 to shoot, 123 to go. From three point range, once again, it's Daniel Hernandez. Boy, Life Pacific has had a tough night. Dykstra now to Jamel Cleveland. 
Life Pacific, one-time best shooting three-point shooting team in the GSAC, is shooting 17% from behind the line. Malachi Jensen with the layup and bucket good. He's in double digits now. He has 11 points. We want to thank T. Waters. She is on one of our cameras tonight. And we also would like to thank Jessica Farmer. Jessica is on another camera. And, of course, our technical producer tonight, James Craigle. Our outstanding broadcast crew here tonight, 50.2, as Chris Daniels has a chance to get on the score sheet here in this ball game. He wears number zero, the southpaw. Haven't seen Cam Carson in a while. I'll have to ask about Cam. Free throw by Daniels is good, 87-55. Daniels playing in his eighth game. He's a 54% free throw shooter. And that one rattles off. Once again, Jamel Cleveland tries to tip it out. Travis Jackson now. Cross pass over to Newton Acevedo. Two o'clock tomorrow, right here from the event center. Same bat time, same bat channel. ACU trying to improve to 4 0 in the conference where they win tomorrow. They will be 3 0 here in the next 28 seconds to go. About a half a second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It'll be Chris Daniels to Jamel Cleveland. Jamel Cleveland steps out of three-point range. Coach Rutter might have asked him to just dribble this one out. It's Cleveland with the handles. Ten seconds to go in the ball game. And there's five seconds to go in the game, and the Firestorm are going to just dribble this one out here and win the ball game by a score of 87 to 55. The Firestorm improved to 17 and two overall. They're three and zero in the GSAC conference. Life Pacific will now drop to two and six overall, one and six in conference play. And what a performance here offensively for the Firestorm. Again, another unselfish outing here for ACU. We'll take a quick break and we'll wrap things up with the post-game report. You are one.